the honorable member for Transcona. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today in my traditional Vishivanka, or Ukrainian shirt, in celebration of my Ukrainian heritage, as I also did last Thursday here in the House, which was Vishivanka Day, where Ukrainians across the globe participate similarly in their communities. I had the pleasure of participating in this event at Osaredok Ukrainian Cultural and Education Center. Osaredok was an appropriate venue for Vishivanka Day, as this institution is all about Ukrainian culture and heritage, the center's mission statement, sharing Canadian-Ukrainian cultural experiences reflects its role on a variety of levels. It is the keeper of the community's collective memory by virtue of its extensive collections that document 125 years of the intellectual and cultural life of the Ukrainian community in Canada. These include archives of prominent Ukrainian Canadians and community organizations, an extensive research library, fine art and folk art, and an ethnology collection which includes about 4,000 pisinka or Ukrainian Easter eggs. The Centre brings value to the province of Manitoba as one of the preeminent sources of Ukrainian culture and heritage in North America, a place where scholars and the general public can pursue any information on things Ukrainian. Osoredok also shares Ukrainian culture through diverse public programs, exhibitions such as New Dimensions of Pisinka Art, the Pisinka Mosaics of the Wasilishin family, they connect tradition with contemporary perspective on an ancient folk art form. Workshops, such as Osoredox Pisinka workshops, encourage individuals and families to embrace an activity that is both ritual and art form. Special events, such as the annual Festival of Carols, which I have sung in, brings together community choirs in a festive celebration of Ukrainian Christmas music. Osoredok Ukrainian Cultural and Education Center deserves acknowledgement for its fine work in sharing Canadian-Ukrainian cultural experiences and its significant contr contribution to the heritage of all Manitobans. Thank you, Madam Speaker.